Hello, gentlemen. My name is Andriy. I'm a founder of UkrainianPassport.com, the company that helps people to spot scammers on dating sites. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about potential risks with girls from Donetsk and Luhansk. The information in this video is totally based on our experience. When I'm saying girls from Donetsk and Luhansk, I mean a big territory, which also includes such beautiful places as Alchevsk, Krasnodon, Yenakievo, Gorlovka, Shakhtarsk, etc. It doesn't mean that you should avoid all girls from Eastern Ukraine, but here are your potential risks. And your risk number one is that numerous scammers come from Donetsk and Luhansk. Since 2010, we had more than 500 cases of scam and around 90% of girls were from Donetsk and Luhansk. We are sure it's not a simple coincidence. Most of the times we check Ukrainian passports. And now when a new copy comes out and the holder is from Donetsk or Luhansk area, first of all, it's just another scammer. Your potential risk number two is that Ukrainian laws don't work in so-called temporary occupied territories of Donetsk and Luhansk regions. Since 2014, following the Russian military intervention, the parts of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions were occupied and uh, since nowadays, they are out of control of the Ukrainian government. This creates difficulties. You cannot meet her, you cannot go to her home, you cannot see her parents. And for us, it also creates difficulties because we cannot check her through databases because they are simply out of date. Your potential risk number three is that, may, that they manipulate facts. Well, the fact that Roman scammers manipulate facts is not something new. But the girls from Donetsk and Luhansk manipulate facts all the time. Nearly every day we hear stories from our clients that she cries, that she needs money because she's so poor because of the war, that she needs money to pay for rent, the flat, to pay for food, uh, that she has problems with internet connection, etc., etc., etc. But at the same time, on her profile on a dating site, we see a good looking lady in a nice flat, driving a nice car, eating in a nice restaurant, and having a brand new cell phone. Your potential risk number four is that they ask money to make a Ukrainian passport for travel abroad. Of course, this in itself is not a crime. The problem is they ask too much money for that. A lot more than it really costs. The legend is always the same. If you want to meet her, she will visit you in your country or on neutral ground. At the same time, she will convince you to send her money for the passport. And by the way, you can also send her some money to buy flight tickets. She will say, Honey, you know that uh, I have to buy flight tickets, but you cannot just buy them online. But wait, there is a uh, tour agent right around the corner, which you can trust and send them the whole amount and they will figure out something and arrange everything for me. And of course, once you send her money, she disappears. Your potential risk number five and the last one is that you cannot bring them to justice. Since the law doesn't work there, it's impossible to bring them to justice. 
they know it and sometimes they even don't hide it under fake names. Some even engage their friends and relatives, send you real pictures and videos. Well, it's not surprising who would go bringing her to justice in the territory controlled by Russian terrorists. So, <laughs> what's the solution? What's the remedy? You can hire us and we will help you to identify her, to understand if she's telling truth, if it's a real person or she is a scammer. Minimum that we need for that is her name, pictures and address. If you have a copy of her passport or any additional information, it's only for better. Uh, we deliver the result within 24 hours. Once the payment is confirmed, we have necessary knowledge and experience in this field. We are people you can trust. Payment by credit card is available. Good luck, gentlemen.